you know, the, the always the great uh, debate you'll have with people when you're focusing on the importance of culture, communication, human connection, is whether or not this is just something that is warm and fuzzy or does it have a real tangible impact. And I think a very powerful example for, for when I was uh, running National Australia Bank was the advertising campaign that we did uh, of, which was known as the breakup campaign. Now, we were struggling, we were, pro we were predominantly a business bank. Um, we, we mostly focused on small business customers, but what we needed was more retail customers, more mainstream customers, because what that was going to do was obviously create more balance in our business. If you've got a very, um, I guess, homogeneous workforce, then they'll come up with a standard thing, let's put an ad in a newspaper. The idea that came up was that we actually used Valentine's Day uh, and said we're going to break up with that with our competitors. And we created an enormous splash, you know, yes, backed up by, by media campaigns, but by lots of stunts, you know, helicopters flying around with things and people playing pianos outside our competitors' offices saying we're breaking up with you. And, and it, it inevitably, lots of social media, it inevitably got incredible attention worldwide. It was actually also very expensive to do. Uh, we have probably shifted in the five or six years since that campaign was done, probably five years, one and a half million customers uh, from our competitors to us. I mean, it had a material impact on the performance of our business. Now, the reason it worked was we had a diverse workforce. People, we had people sitting around that table from different industries, different backgrounds, different perspectives, who were able to really throw out what, in hindsight, was incredibly successful, but in its conception was potentially high risk. We were fourth out of foreign customer satisfaction. Over the space of two years, we went to number one. And it only happened because of a diverse workforce. Um, you know, and people also, not just being diverse, but feeling safe to actually express wild ideas. So we created an environment where not only did it feel safe, we had the diversity of those ideas out there. So that, I think it's a fantastic, tangible example of where there is a correlation between creating the right kind of workplace environment and genuine financial outcome because that is always the challenge. There are very few things you can control in your organisation, particularly in banking. The one thing you do control is the workplace you create. So why wouldn't you as an organisation put the maximum degree of effort into that? And if you create that diverse, inclusive workforce, then of course you absolutely get financial impact.